Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we have discussed about the fail fast and fail safe iterator in Java. So in this video tutorial, we will look uh, this concept through an example. So here, first of all, we will explore what is fail fast iterator. So let's create a map here, uh, key as a string and value as a string itself and I would say that is a phone map and so map has a several implementation like we have a list uh, link, uh, sorry uh, map has a implementation like uh, linked has it has it uh, tree set and all so here I am going to take uh, an example of the hash set so let's you can take uh, other implementer as well so sorry hash map I am going to take right and press ctrl shift o for the organizer import now here phone map is having uh, some entry like key value pairs and we can call the put method and we can pass the key as apple and value as iphone again so we are adding some more key value pairs over here the second entry we are going to stc and value as stc1 and third at is samsung and i would say s6 okay so we have a map and we can call map has a map that is called key set so you might have heard about this key set which returns you the set itself right so it returns your set so basically we know that uh, in map key is always unique right so that's why return type of uh, key set is a set of keys it's set of a string which is a y set because key always key, i mean collection of key would be unique that's why return type of this api is set now you got the set now you can call the iterator method on it right and this iterator will return you uh, a reference of iterator itself now we can apply a for loop while loop right so let's have a while loop and uh, iterator has a has next method right and here you don't need to type class because we have used generics right so so here you can say key and sorry so has next has a uh, sorry phone uh, you have a, a key right uh, you can say phone type phone type right it's a key and we'll try to print this key value pairs right so phone type this will give you the key itself right and uh, we have a another method in this iterator is called next right so we can call the next which will return you the value itself so next is returning value itself uh, sorry and this will give you the key and you can pass this key to map and this will give you the value itself right so get map, map is having a method is called sorry this map is a phone map phone map has a get method right so and you can pass phone type and if you try to run this program then this gives you the key value pairs right now what i am trying to do while iterating this map uh, i'm trying to modify the internal structure of this map so basically i'm going to modify 
I'm going to uh, uh, remove or you can say you can put uh, an element right so if I try to put an element so by treating the map itself so map dot let's say color put method on it and give the key as a shiny and value as a Xperia Xperia jet okay and if I try to iterate this map now so there is compilation error is showing so we have missed the semicolon so if I try to re run this program then you can see we are end up with the an exception is called concurrent modification exception because iterator which we get uh, from uh, this map that is a fail fast iterator that's why we are getting this concurrent modification exception right so to overcome this problem uh, we have a uh, um, another kind of map implementation that is called concurrent hash map so let's copy this line and instead of right side instead of using map we can make use of the concurrent hash map and that was concurrent hash map and if you click go to the java doc then you can see this concurrent hash map which is a uh, interface in java right so concurrent hash map is a interface in java oh sorry sorry uh, so here concurrent hash map is a class in java i think he, that was added in jdk 1.5 if i'm not wrong so uh, this class starts from here right so it's a constructor and if you go up there are several methods in this class now a lot of java docs are there still if you move to here and try to search 1.5 right so concurrent hash map have been added in the jdk 1.5 and basically this uh, concurrent hash map implements concurrent map right and finally concurrent map extend map interface itself so whatever method you have in map interface and concurrent map interface concurrent map interface so all uh, so basically concurrent hash map inherit inherits i mean methods from these two interfaces right so that's why left side you can keep a reference of map itself because this is a super interface of concurrent map right and after taking the concurrent hash map if you run the same program then then we are not uh, getting concurrent modification exception right so this is the uh, basically this is a, a concurrent hash map this has been added in jdk 1.7 and this ha this uh, map have been created to deal with the concurrent environment right so if you are using a map in the uh, multi threaded environment where one thread is try uh, one thread is trying to iterate the map and another try uh, another thread is trying to modify this map at a time then there is chance to get the concurrent modification exception to overcome this problem instead of uh, using map interface uh, implementer like linked hash map uh, hash map or uh, tree set we should use concurrent hash map that's the main purpose to i mean uh, java engineers have added concurrent hash map in jdk 1.5 right so when we talk about the concurrent hash map then uh, in jdk 1.8 concurrent hash map has added a lot of methods right so these methods uh, right so these are the methods like you can see these are the um, methods uh, have been added in jdk 1.8 itself but uh, these methods are like 
uh, this like get or default to till up to here merge method is getting inherited from the map interface and these methods already we have explored explored in a previous video tutorial and methods which are pending is still pending is for each loop right so you can see these are the for each overloaded method then we have a different versions of search again different versions of uh, we have a reduce so these are the api we are going to explore in next series of video tutorial but before that we have to discuss about the, some of the basic concept which related to the uh, java concurrency api so we'll first we'll see those concepts and finally we'll try to explore these apis right so thanks for watching this video and uh, this code i'm going to upload on the github and github location uh, i will uh, specify in the video description itself so that you can download uh, this code from the repository and thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial